Winding the Gatling gun, the Gatling gun will come wound right out of the box. So this way you have a better idea of how the Gatling gun gets wound. Okay, to wind the Gatling gun, the first thing you're going to want to know is there is a small release on this side. It doesn't really do much. It does make a cool sound when shooting the gun, but sometimes it, if you try to turn it and unwind it, sometimes it will jam it. So know it's here and know you need to pull it down. Now, to wind the gun, you're just going to turn it with your hand like this. And basically what you want to do is go around until you are completely around them and around the pins, if you could see that. And then you're going to go to the next pin. So you could see you're going to go diagonal as soon as you're around all the pins. Then you're going to go around the next level of pins until you get to the next one, which you will see, and then right here, you'll go to the next round. So you're just going straight around until you get all the way around to the pin where you started, and then you're gonna go to the next layer around. And you're gonna keep doing that all the way around. Nice and easy. These Gatling guns are laser cut for precise fit and hand assembled by myself. No gun is exactly alike. There are f minimal defects in the wood from natural assembly. While the wood is left unfinished, you may finish it in any which way you like or leave it with the natural beauty of the unfinished wood. The only thing I do say is if you're going to paint it or spray it in any way, shape, or form, that you should cover the gears first as it's not something you want to add layers of paint to. Okay, so once you're around all of them, I like to go around one more time just so when we're loading we know we can but right now as you can see the gun is completely wound okay 